slime, tick the cause you guess me to guess the TikTok, and today I am your carbon monoxide expert, folks, and I'm happy and excited to present to you six months of development work to come up with this lovely piece of engineering, folks. It's our low-level carbon monoxide FD103 model. Low-level carbon monoxide detector, folks. Look, there's a decimal point. It can read the lowest down to 0.1 parts per million. 0.1 parts per million. Your average meter reads 1, 2, 3 ppm. This goes down to 0.1 ppm. It's perfect for those mums and children in a vehicle. Oh, am I exposing my family to low levels of carbon monoxide? It's perfect for those people that are concerned about their heater. Am I breathing in carbon monoxide because there could be small cracks in my heat exchange? It's perfect for scuba folks that are breathing in compressed gas, bang, and want to double check their cylinders if any carbon monoxide was compressed in their bottles, folks. There are many applications for low level carbon monoxide checking you may be thinking about something and this is it for you for protection at the lower levels folks check it out we have a two-year sensor made nanotechnology graphene electrochemical cell it has a lithium nine volt battery that lasts over two years buzzer led and vibration alarm shock proof waterproof it has a backlight folks so you could check in the darkness it's a beauty folks we also calibrate this unique product here in los angeles with our own hands to five ppm of carbon monoxide mist traceable so it's very important not many people ask that question what concentration was the t-tech door calibrated to the lower the more accurate at the lower region this is calibrated to 5 ppm folks be smart do your research look till then be safe be well and say hi to your family see you later Straight to the unboxing of our low-level carbon monoxide waterproof gas detector, folks. Make sure the detector you purchased is ticked correctly. In this case, it's of course our low-level carbon monoxide FD103 detector. Get yourself a knife, go down the side here, and here it is, folks. This is what you get. You have your detector, folks. Put that on the side. Your strap, you could pop that on the detector anytime you like, and you have your calibration cap. We'll show you how that works. Very important folks, make sure the serial number is the same as what you just purchased. Signature from our engineer and NIST calibration. If your detector is not well calibrated, it's useless folks. Basic principles. You wanna make sure you're purchasing it from a reputable, reputable um, outlet folks. And we provide you with that information. Use a manual folks, it's all here step by step. We're gonna go through that today. On the back, if you ever lose this or don't know what's going on here, we have emails, folks. Contact us, if not YouTube, extensive YouTube channel on various products, videos, and concepts, folks. And on the bottom, we have Dr. Cars, a few friendly reminders, bump test, calibrate, and all the other fun stuff. Okay, let's put everything on the side and take the bubble wrap off the detector here today, folks. <clears throat> and what I want you to do is first of all just turn it on okay we're going to turn it on and as that's counting down because it's got a 60 second countdown what i want you to do is make sure the serial number is the same as the calibration make sure it is indeed a low level carbon monoxide detector as you purchased or if someone gives it to you read the back and make sure you know what the detector is because these come in different versions okay folks now look four hex screws pop those off if you ever want to change the battery it takes a nine volt battery and here alligator clip folks you may like that you may not if you don't like it unscrew it there's a little screw pop that off and the stainless steel belt clip comes off folks not a problem at all we've got the 60 second countdown so as you saw me press the power button it's counting down 60 seconds and then it will turn on as that's happening let's go through the physical attributes of this detector folks here we have the orifice of the gas sensor folks that white thing you see is a waterproof membrane so water doesn't get onto the sensor element menu button here folks lcd display our power button and on the other side here folks is our orifice for the buzzer the audible buzzer folks and look at this black line that goes on the periphery of this detector that is the led bar when it's alarming it's glowing it's a beautiful beautiful design folks i love it look rubber fill it takes the shock drop waterproof perfect for the outdoors camping rv low level for your scuba 
and other little leaks that you want to find. This is the guy you need, folks. Folks, let's get straight to the functionality of our low level carbon monoxide detector, folks. Now, once you turn it on, the first thing you want to make sure is that it's reading 0, 0.0. Now, it's not unusual for it to fluctuate a little bit and flicker 0 0.1, 0 0.2, okay? Now, before you take your measurement, you want to make sure that it's zero. And you do that by double pressing. It says Z. It's basically asking, is it zero? And you want to confirm by pressing down the M. And then you've confirmed it. Give it a few seconds and it's going to read normally, folks. Okay. Bang. Now it's reading and it's ready to take a measurement. Next question, Dr. Cos, how do we change the alarm to Dr. Cos? How do we calibrate? Let's do that right now. So what we want to do is hold down the M button and you want to put the password to go to the advanced menu. Password is one, two, three, four. Hold down. And every time you hold down and press a long M button, that means enter, okay? L, press again is H. L is low alarm, H is high alarm. Default is 10 ppm and high alarm is 20 ppm. Press again, Z, we've already zeroed. And C means calibration. Yes, we do want to calibrate. So we hold down the menu and it's asking, is 5 ppm your calibration level? Well, in this case, it absolutely is because we're using 5 ppm of carbon monoxide to calibrate this beauty, okay? Now, this is our bottle and this is our regulator with our variable um, bar here and we have the calibration cap attached using a silicone tubing so go ahead and just mount that you could see here it's going to make sure that's mounted make sure it's flush with the sensor hole okay once i'm ready i'm going to press the long menu button m and that's waiting now for gas that's what it's reading zero we're going to start turning up the gas flow at about 0 0.3 0 0.4 liters per minute Okay, and give that a good 60 to 120 seconds. I'll be back. Okay, folks, it's been 60 seconds and the concentration has stabilized to 4.1 parts per million. We know, you know, there's 5 ppm being exposed. It's showing us 4.1. It's off by 0.9 ppm. So we're going to enter, hold down the M, and we're telling it that is 5 ppm. And that is what we need to calibrate to. And then it will enable that reading and bang. Now it's reading 5 ppm. It's accurate to this calibration NIST, NIST traceable gas source, folks. Okay, that's the way we do it. The calibration is done and we take that off. We turn off the gas and please do this in a ventilated space, folks. Anytime you're calibrating, take some basic safety precautions, okay? In a ventilated space so that the toxic gas is evacuated. Now, as you could see, because it's being exposed to fresh air, it's coming back to our zero baseline. That's how we perform a zero calibration. That's how we perform a span calibration, folks. It's quite straightforward. Now, as that's coming down, I will um, go back in the menu and I will also show you how to change the alarm levels, okay? So let's put one, two, three, some people like Dr. Cos, how do we change the alarm level? So I want to make sure we have that for the record. And we do that step by step. Now, if I want to change the low level alarm, just hold down the M button. Now I could change the digits. You see that, folks, right? If I wanted to alarm at, let's say, at 7 ppm, I have to make the first digit zero. Scroll through the second, the, the, the first digit, seven. Okay. And then I'm going to press, hold down the M to enter. And now my low level alarm is seven parts per minute. That's how we do it, folks. It's quite straightforward. Okay. Now, when you let that go, it'll come back to the instantaneous reading. See, it's going down now, folks, 0.1 ppm. Now, if it stabilizes and goes down to zero and you leave it there for a few minutes, that's great. If it hovers at 0.1, you may need to zero again. But in this case, because the humidity temperature is constant, it came back to our zero baseline and that's good news. Now I'm ready to take a measurement, folks, okay? So you saw it, folks. It's the unboxing, calibration, zero span, change of alarms, demo of our FD-103 low-level carbon monoxide detector. Have a great day. See you soon.